We are down the street from our house at our favorite Goodwill. We're gonna go in here and see exactly when we can find a flip online for a profit. This is the 100% the jacket, which is name worn in the song Thrift Shop. Uh, Isn't it? I mean like 100%. What do we got going on here? A skateboard. That's like a, uh, a racquetball racket, maybe? Why is that so little? Or a junior, probably junior. Yeah, Pure Drive Junior 23. I have to look this up. It's, it actually looks like it's broke. It is broke. That's a good brand, though. You ever see Bebelat? It's a solid brand. Not in that condition, though. It's pretty terrible. it on the inside but I think it'll be I think it'll it might pull through it's really dirty the top looks good but this thing is super super dirty and I have a basically a roll now that if it looks like this I don't pick it up because I'll never clean it this one's not a bad one a7 G44. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty rough. Always good to look at the media. You just never know what you'll find. iRobot. That's probably where we're heading with all this AI stuff, right? Who agrees? Maybe not. Look at this. Chronicles of Narnia. This stuff is in the set. Got a barcode. Guarantee this is worth some money. Especially with all of them being in there. So look this up. It's always important to look stuff up. For if you don't know exactly what it is. Because it can be worth some decent amount. What's this down here? Hey. I don't know. Oh yeah. $19.99 plus shipping. $70? 99 plus shipping 22 50 <laughs> yeah that that's a score what type of nonsense is this thing is that a tv features five inch black and white tv removable flashlight dual fluorescent mono radio compass emergency siren it's got jacks and AV jack, power source, car cord, nine C batteries not included. Well, that'd be about four hundred thousand dollars. This is all you need in life, honestly. Just you might need more than that. It's a removable flashlight. I think it just cracked the GoPro. This was the first iPod or iPhone. Literally, this is this is an iPhone back in the day. It's got everything that get in there like that. How much this thing's worth? What you got? Look at that, five dollars. Who's putting four ninety nine on this at the Goodwill? Seriously, that's crazy. Made in USA Thermo. This is the Zoom Budman. That's old though. Probably what from the seventies. Yeah, they sold it on bid. Huh. 12 bucks. Mm. 12 bucks. 12 bucks. 11. Damn, for 5 bucks, though. That's kind of. Yeah, a little too expensive. But it's a cool find. It should be 50 cents, to be honest with you. Groom. Bride. Ooh. That looks like your type of basket. <laughs> what would I put in there? 
Uh, you'd find something to put in there. I would find something. Yeah. Okay, hey, a mini fridge. Yeah, it's got the cord. And it's got the shelf. Looks like it works. Looks like it was just unplugged. That's pretty good for three bucks. Look. That's pretty good for three dollars. I uh, know. That's pretty good. Hold for 24. Is that a four quart pot, Ethan? Uh, this one might be, no, this is bigger than four quarts. Uh, no, four quarts would be a gallon. Yeah, it would be four quarts. If, if we're not, maybe a little bit bigger. Oh, I only went for 54, oh, free shipping. Um, the inside's got a little scrapes on it, but it's not bad. It hasn't had too hard of a life. I think that's a good deal, seven bucks. So it's probably worth 40 or 50, 40? Yeah. All right, yeah. screenshot that if you would. That ain't too bad. The old Sheffield strawberries and cream. Look at this. Two ninety nine. Is that a basset hound? I think it is. Just a picture of somebody's dog. Just relaxing. That's cute. All right. So we had to sit there and wait like a six minutes in Goodwill to get these price you said and I don't know if y'all Goodwills are like this tell me down below if they're in a set you have to get them priced and I was like oh man I don't know how much they're gonna price these for she said usually around $3.99 that's actually not true because they were $6.99 actually there's another one on there what did they put first $5.99 and then they changed it to $6.99 did they just cheat us out of a dollar that's crazy so yeah because he actually came back and then did we just get upcharged because they saw who we were? I don't know. Who knows? But uh, this still is going to go between 50 to 70 bucks. I don't mind paying $7 for it. But uh, I thought for sure they would only be $3.99. Second sure. Goodwill. Seen a lot of people come out empty-handed. We're going to go in there and see what they have to flip a line for profit. Right off the rip. Um, a lot of people don't know that brand. Extra Tough. And we didn't even have the cameras on yet. These are like super expensive. I think in the store they're what? Like 90 bucks? Yeah. Are these my size? Oh, 11. Oh, no. Nah, it's a little bit no. too big. No. But we'll clean them up. These are in the store, $90 to $100. So, time to go get the cart. Oh. Got a big, big burp, 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 burp. No good. But Vasque boots are actually pretty decent. So, that brand right there, not terrible. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? L.L. Bean wool ah, made in china i think the ones made in ireland are actually worth more money the thing about wool is make sure it's got no holes in it i don't see any holes but it's a small which is not the best no it's a medium no that'll work goodwill number three that's a good price Okay. Do you think it's $19.99 for like all of it? Because they have it priced two different ways, but it's all the same thing. That's what I was thinking too. So, I appreciate it. This right here is a steal of a deal for $19.99. This is a rainbow. Yeah, it's connected to it. <laughs> huh? Oh look, look at this. Yeah, you know how much that is. That's 150 right there. For only 19 bucks. I just asked. Yeah, they said that it's together for 20 bucks. Yep. So, that's a steal of a deal. That was the strat getting the getting the boogie. Man, these right here are really good. Easy parting out is the way to go. You can sell them together. This one's not too terribly dirty, too. And it comes with all of the uh, attachments. attachments, which is like a rarity. Super excited because this stuff is, I've actually never seen one this clean. Usually they're like really disgusting. This piece right here, we've sold many, many, many times. And it comes with the uh, extensions. They have some pretty cool uh, stuff. Look at this guy. Yeah, I saw him. Mm. And it wasn't a spotlight, it was a, one of those. Look at those. <gasps> oh, wow. Aren't they neat? They're That's they are nice. like super heavy. You could put lights in them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they wouldn't blow away because they're heavy. How much are they? Four bucks. Really? Yeah. They're, I mean, they're like super heavy. It's pretty neat. 
Gulf Shores, Alabama. I feel like that's something that goes in like a fish tank. It's a skull. It's pretty nice. Did you want these? No, that's okay. Got it? It's heavy. Clay art. What? Hey, look. That's from. Remember the really expensive, um, yeah. that, that was from Clay Art, San Francisco. Huh. But why would it be made in Taiwan? It's paper mache, we have to look that up. What? This is just a big piece of steel that says Martha's Vineyard on it. I don't know if someone made that. That's neat. That's like. If you don't like it, just chop it off and use it as a uh, bulletproof. Things over here. You might. <laughs> Nobody wants it. Nobody. Nobody wants it. Hmm. Definitely gonna buy that six bucks. I don't know how much it's worth, but some of these things you just gotta, you just gotta go for. These are super, super good. Um, they only want seven bucks for them, and they are ostrich. Any type, you, any type you see like these little things that have like little divots on them or little things hanging off of them, it's gonna be an ostrich skin, and they are very, very expensive on eBay. A lot of times they're over 150 bucks, and they're not in super bad condition. These will clean up super easy with good leather cleaner. You can put a Doc Martens leather bomb on them or whatever, but $7.99, this is a steal of a deal. Not on camera. Kayla picked up a lily, uh, what is it? A lily what? A lily. We'll just call it a lily. A lily pulizzer. <laughs> it's like a little, uh, Glass. is that for your glasses? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. And it looks like it goes for, we paid 99 cents for it, so it'll probably go for like, I think 12 bucks. Uh, but that also might be in a whatnot. These right here are on point. That is a very expensive store now. Actually, the Salvation Army used to be very reasonable it is probably the most expensive store way more expensive than goodwill but caught them slipping here a little bit these are ostrich skin boots and they are very very expensive um ostrich skin boots can go as high as 300 dollars pre-owned these look like they're probably going to go for about probably about maybe 150 i'll go home and put some um leather cleaner on them clean them up and actually show that at the very end of the video and uh, we'll get those things listed but they were only eight dollars also the rainbow vacuum you saw me they did go ahead and price it together at uh, 19.99 and we know right there that's well over 150 to 200 dollars so that ain't too bad for an afternoon of thrifting well we do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know i will always get you on the next one a real quick look at this all i used was a little bit of this stuff right here the doc martin's uh airway wonder bomb it's just leather conditioner you can probably use any leather conditioner but i use this stuff and really just a little brush to get around here make sure you wipe down leather when you're cleaning like high-end leather not so much i mean this stuff is expensive but stuff that can scratch make sure there's no sand on them because if there's any type of sand on the leather and you go in there and start rubbing and stuff it just really scratches the leather pretty terrible uh this isn't that bad but they turned out really really well there's a code on the inside and all you have to do is just go ahead and run that code it looks like that these are going to be a women's size eight and they go for probably around $200 easy. Uh, there is one called like black cherry. It's like more of a dark slash red burgundy color. And there's also one that has like mahogany looking here on the heel that goes for like 500. So these right here, I'm thinking easily 200 bucks, maybe 300, but that ain't bad for $8.